Hey guys, this is going to be a walkthrough solve of a Fisher Cube. Um, this is a Ghost Hand Fisher Cube. You can get it from Cube Depot. Um, it's not very expensive and it's a very fun puzzle to uh, solve. It is solved just like a 3x3 three three, uh, with a parody um, and some other little hints, uh, trips, tick tricks, um, stuff you have to do. So to start, uh, sc I'll scramble. Um, you have to solve it on either the orange or red side because this doesn't have the right color scheme. Um, so you have to, to solve it on the side with the square for the center. Um, so let's see, inspect it. I guess I'll solve for red. Um, so See, there's one pair right there and a pair right there. So, let's see, let's find the next one. So, let's see, what am I going to do? Okay, so if you have it like this, um, all you're going to do is you're going to bring it down to matches. You can put it to the other side so that it matches there. Um, and you bring it down and you put it in place. Not that hard. Um, fairly simple and then see I can't bring it down there so I have to bring it down there um, not that hard and also if it's up here um, and like this you can't bring it down like that um, and you can't bring it down like that. So what you do is you put the piece directly behind the its uh, uh, center. And you do an M slice. You bring the center up. You do a U, um, and then it's oriented the right way so that you can put it in place. Not that hard. Um, then you do F to L. Pair is already made, um, so I'm gonna insert it. Uh, Here's another pair, but it's not in place, so I'm going to uh, do that. Maybe it's hard to turn sometimes just because of the way the puzzle works. Insert that black one was made. Um, the yellow one was made too. Uh, so then you just insert those. So now you see that I have uh, a parity here, uh, three edges oriented, it's not possible. So you have to take one of, uh, do a sexy move uh, on one of the pairs, means that it's flipped, you take it out, and then you insert it back in, and it should have uh, the correct number of edges oriented. Um, Pretty simple, you just do a sexy move, which is R U R prime U prime three times, um, if you don't know what that is. And then you take out the pair and then you reinsert it into the same spot, and that will make the correct amount of edges oriented. Um, next, you look for OLL. I'm pretty sure this is a B, um, that's what I call it. I, I don't this. The hard, one of the hardest parts is um, figuring out what you have. I think it's a B. That's what it looks like. So I'm going to do this. Um, um, there. Okay, yeah, I was right. Um, and then you want to orientate it. Um, and the hardest thing to find on here is a G perm. I don't know the G perm, so I don't. I just do. Um, a perms and uh, or a perms and um, u perms. So this is a t perm. Um, really hard to tell. That's one of the other things that's hard. But uh, so you then you do a t perm and ta da! It's solved. Parity. Um, what you should do if you get a parity is put it on the right side and 
uh, do a U-perm. Either one, doesn't matter. Um, so, and you do it. And just so you know, when you do a U-perm, it flips the edge. So, there, it's solved now, but these three. So you do it three times. And that should solve it. In this case, it didn't. So, what you do is you rotate the cube so that you're, it's in the middle, it's facing up uh, on this M slice, facing up right here. And you do, you go like this, you go R, U, R prime, U. And you do that five times. And ta-da, you have a solved Fisher cube. Uh, pretty simple, just do a U-perm. So if you have a U-perm um, for your PLL, it means that you are going to have a parity in the end. Um, sometimes it will be rotated 180 degrees. Sometimes you'll have two of them rotated 180 degrees. And you just do that R, uh, R, U, R prime, U. R, just like this, five times. And it will um, solve it. Uh, there's another algorithm where you can do both of these. If they're both rotated 180 degrees um, next to each other, you can do it. I don't know it. Um, but the way I do it is just as simple. Um, and, yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review, uh, not, uh, tutorial. And I will... See you guys next time. Comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks so much. Bye-bye.